here in a blind which y'all know this is not my favorite way to hunt but as you can tell it's raining and we're, it's supposed to get storms today yesterday there was four gobblers in this field and um, they stayed on this hump up here and there was just no way to crawl to them there was no way to get to them so we came in here it was supposed to rain they called for rain all day so I told the guy I was hunting with, I said, let's just go up there if you got to you know, pop that blind up and uh, get up on that hump. And they've already flew down. I'm, they got, there's two of them. I don't know. The others are not yet here yet, but uh, there's two gobblers about 140 yards on down this field. It's, they're just over that hub. I've been trying to film them, but I, where they're at, I can see them, but the camera can't hardly see them. But it looks like they're working this way. Man, they flew down early. I didn't think they'd fly down this early, really, with this rain like this. And, uh, There's a deer out there too. The turkeys don't pay much attention to blinds, but that deer keeps looking up here like something's up. And I hope it don't mess me up, but they look like they're they look like they're slowly moving this way little by little. You know, they're just moving slow like turkeys. They were in here for four hours yesterday within a, a hundred yard area on this hump. And they just would not move off this hump. And uh, so I'm hoping that they'll ease their way up here again and start strutting. And I got I'm hoping that they'll get up on it up, up here. But well, I hope that deer don't screw me up. That deer is just keep, keeps looking up here like something's up. I watched these gobblers yesterday and uh, they stayed up on this hump for quite a while and uh, they was calling for rains all day today so it's not my favorite way to hunt but I just told them I said let's take a, pop, let's take a, a uh, blind and the uh, guy had a tideweed blind so I said let's take that blind up and pop it up and uh, on that hill and uh, so what we did so we just got up here on this hump and then I seen them fly down right down here this morning real early I couldn't the camera was it was too dark 
but they flew down early two of them and that's the same two from yesterday and I started calling on this tube call they gobbled a couple times in this rain and then uh, they started slowly working up this way and it took about an hour so it's been about an hour and uh, I lost them for the last 30 minutes but finally I seen them both coming up to here right where they was at yesterday so simple hunt uh, you know this is kind of one of them deals where you may not like to hunt a certain way but it, sometimes you just have to if it's going to rain it's good for a blind but also if you're hunting field birds and there's just no way to move on them and yesterday there was just no way you can move on these turkeys and we'll show you a little bit uh, you know what was going on uh, yesterday but we, we, I couldn't move I couldn't crawl I couldn't do anything and so instead of pushing it I just thought you know it'd be better just to give it another day and get up here where they're at so get in these places that's got these strut zones and get in their struts you know especially in this lockdown period because this has been tough this has been a terrible week and a half of hunting but it's like that every year I've been on gobblers every day I've been on gobblers for the last 10 days every day I've called them in the gun range cannot get them killed I've, I have been the king of encounters this spring but just cannot get the trigger pull but it's all these flipping hens are so locked down with these gobblers and this is a tough time but it's going to get better May the 1st or May the 2nd today it's going to get better in the next three or four days uh, you know three or four days this late season will start next week's going to be on fire so if you can still hunt it's going to get better but I'll tell you the last of April this has been the toughest April the last part of April that I've seen in a long time but if they've been gobbling a lot but they're locked down with the hens and it's just hard to get where they want to be uh, and because they're jumping all over the place with these hens so anyway uh, you know nice nice gobbler here beautiful gobbler and uh, probably a three-year-old I'd say he's got some really nice little hooks there and uh, that his other buddy was not doing this one was doing all the strutting so he's probably the mature one and uh, but boy it's a, probably about a 22 pound gobbler he's of course it could be the rain too <laughs> has got him wet but anyways uh, that's kind of it you know just sort of get on these strut zones and yeah you've, you've heard me say it and you've heard me say that you got to do something different and you know a lot of people think I mean the blind hunters get out of the blind and the blind hunters stop getting in fields and, and if that's all you're used to hunting and do something different but for you running gun hunters like me and for you guys that like to set in the woods and you guys that you know like to set the base of a tree knees to your face sometimes you just can't do that especially with these field turkeys you just can't do that so to be a productive turkey hunter you have to you know <laughs> you gotta do something different and that's what I did but hey I'm glad I had my tide weed blind and I'm glad that uh, I'm glad this whole hump was here I'm glad the turkeys did what they did yesterday I didn't call much hit them with the tube call gobbled a couple times and then uh, I just waited and then you know done some little uh, mouth calling soft calling on mouth call and, uh, and then they worked right on the as you can see this is what I've been looking at yesterday and today just a big long field that goes down a hill and yesterday them gobblers was right on this hump from that tree down there all this way back up I was sitting down there because two weeks ago that's where they were seeing them but the grass has got real high down there grass ain't as high up here so I just don't think turkeys like to be in tall grass so I knew yesterday when I seen this short grass up here and the tall grass down there I said they're not gonna come down here I think they're gonna stay right up in that short grass and that's what they did there were four gobblers in here yesterday one really huge gobbler that had hens and these actually these gobblers came out uh, about an hour later after the gobbler left and they strutted and they was all up and down through here so uh, you know it's <laughs> it's just hard to move on turkeys as you can see there's just no way and you can say when well, you go up this field edge it's too open up and down these woods and this fence line and the fence lines right there and we can't hunt deeper into the woods so it's really tough to move on these field turkeys but when you have to use a blind don't ever you know get so high and mighty that you say well I, I'm not going to do that at the same time don't set the blind all the time and hunt the same way be diverse be different because that's what's going to kill you more turkeys you know, if they're in a field that's where I'm going to be I'd rather hunt them in the woods I, I'm looking forward to getting back home and, and hunting them next week in the woods 
but uh, you know if this is where they're at this is where you want to be so you know it's just all you gotta you, you gotta be versatile and that's the best way uh, to kill turkey but anyway I'm glad to get this old bird he's wet so we got to dry him out but uh, I'm glad we got him early because it's supposed to storm really bad today and I got to get home I've been gone for a week and a half it's time to get home <laughs> so uh, I'm ready to get back to the mountains and chase some timber turkey but anyway the late season is going to be here in the next uh, week or so and you know that's my favorite time to kill turkeys uh, and uh, May just always been better to me than April so I'm looking forward to the next four weeks of season and it's it's I'm not gonna say it's been a tough season because I've been on gobblers ever since season started I have been the king of encounters I have been I have probably called 10 gobblers in this year within gun range but they've always come too far to my right too far I've just had bad setups this year uh, I don't know what's wrong with me I, I don't know if it's me or if it's just I'm not thinking straight I don't know I don't think I am uh, I mean I think I'm thinking like I've always thought but I've just had terrible setups this year and the gobblers have just got by me but uh, I've caught a lot of turkeys in so that's always good when you call them in even though you may not kill them uh, but it's been tough about the 20th of April there it just shut down like it always does and I'll tell you last week from about the 24th of April all the way to about the uh, <laughs> well yesterday it's been some of the toughest turkey hunting but I've been on gobblers I've been hearing them I've been seeing them it's just been I can't get on them because they're field turkeys and I hate field turkeys I absolutely hate them uh, no offense to you you know field guys but I hate field turkey uh, but hey if they're in the field that's where I want to hunt them if they're in the field that's where I'm gonna that's where I'm gonna you know be and you know I'm, I'm gonna hunt wherever the turkeys are at so I'm not gonna get locked into the same old same though so anyway glad you was with me on this rainy morning it's time for me to get out of here and go home and uh, get ready to hit the late season so if you're struggling right now be patient because the lockdown is about over in the next probably four or five days and you're going to get into that magical time of late season when gobblers just the light switch comes on and it gets so much better uh, and you see me do it here every year but anyway it's it's starting to rain pretty good here I'm getting wet my hats are soaked and I got to get my stuff and walk on back down this hill and get ready to go home i'm about four hours from home so not too bad of a drive and uh next time we'll see you we'll be back in the good old mountains of virginia in the timber so god bless you and we'll uh we'll see you we'll see you soon hey, buddy. i tell you this little boy has really helped me the last couple of days he's helped me put up blinds and he's he sat with me yesterday we worked the gobbler uh almost killed him didn't we and uh, I think that was his first time sitting out under a tree like that trying to work a gobbler. What'd you say? Uh, it's fun. Fun, ain't it? <laughs> yeah. This is Jonah here, and he's been uh, he's been tagging along the last couple of days, and actually he's sitting down there in that uh, bottom in another blind this morning. So yesterday we uh, we sat at the table in there, and I was showing him some different stuff on a mouth call, and he said he wasn't very good, but you know what? I was expecting worse but actually ain't too bad I said you know he's pretty good but uh, what I tell you when you was yelping what's the first thing I told you I said that's not a hen yelp it's Jakey or Tom yelp it's a home yelp right and a lot of people do that a lot of people will yelp and they think it's a hen but what was it it's a gobbler, gobbler. so a hen is a little bit faster, faster clear but he was going yomp 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 <laughs> but you know what that'll kill turkeys that will kill turkeys and uh you know, they get jealous and so you always want to keep that gobbler yelp but he was doing a pretty good gobbler yelp but uh, he's just starting out how many turkeys have you killed three in your life three so you killed three you killed one this year you killed one last year two two, two last so last year was your first year whoo i was 12 when you 13 right you 13 yeah yeah i was uh i was 12 when i killed my first one, so that's a good age to start but if you'll serve the Lord, hunt and fish all your life, you'll never get in trouble. Can I hear an amen out there on amen, YouTube? Left? You'll never get in trouble. You'll never get bad habits, except this is a bad habit. You'll get out here in the rain. You'll get out here in the nastiest weather. But this is a good bad habit to have. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he's tagged along and helped me, and I appreciate, I appreciate him tagging along with me and 
Man, I thought we was going to kill that old sucker yesterday. He got close, man. He got. We called him out of that bottom, and he was sitting beside of me. And I was telling him, you know, and and uh, for the folks that's watching, I, I told you something when we used to call that gobbler yesterday. What was I doing? That, that gobbler was down here, and what was I doing? Pointing a different direction, making him think we were leaving. Right. You don't call toward the gobbler. You want to call away from the guy, right? So when you call to him, he's going to, what's he thinking? You're coming to him. You're coming to him, right. So these little things like that, especially for you young hunters out there that's just starting turkey hunt, and you know, you don't have to be a kid to start turkey hunting. There's a lot of people that make these rookie mistakes, but just learning, and his grandpa sets up this morning, it's true. He's like, I just turned him loose because he got to learn on his own, you know? Teach him the best you can, but then you got to make mistakes. And believe me, <laughs> believe me, you're going to make tons of mistakes. But every time you make a mistake and screw that, screw it up, learn from it. And uh, but he'll kill another one, I'm sure, before season goes out. And uh, uh, i tell you what, I'm going to let you carry this turkey. I'm going to let you carry it because I'm tired and uh, I've got to the age now to where I can say, let the, let the kids do it. So I'm going to let you carry it, okay? Go ahead. <laughs> See? See, I'm glad that I've got somebody to carry my turkey out for me.